kids group. How are you doing? My name is Judge Ruthie Truthy, and we're here this week to talk about absolute truth. Did you know that in verse John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. Well, he said me, but you know him. So, is that absolute truth? Yes, it is absolute truth. The judge finds absolute truth. Our point this week, kids, is God is truth and his word is the truth. I want you to read along with me, so grab your Bibles. I'll wait. Do, 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 do. Genesis 3, 1 through 5. Now, who can tell me the story about that? creation, all that good stuff when he made Adam and he made Eve, and then what happened? Oh, that slithery snake came into the garden, didn't he? Yes, he did. Was he carrying truth with him? No, he was not. What was he doing? He was there to deceive Eve. He was that nasty snake. I, I, I condemn him to a lifetime in hell. Anyway, back to the story. This month, we're going to learn that God is truth. He cannot lie. We're going to learn that the Bible is the absolute truth of God. Who can tell me what absolute truth means? Anyone? Anyone in this courtroom can tell me what absolute truth means? Mm -hmm. It means that the truth can't be altered and it's a permanent fact. Did you hear that? The truth cannot be altered and it's a permanent fact. Mm, that's right. The Word of God is absolute truth. It can't be altered and everything in it is a permanent fact. No matter the circumstances or situation. Mm -hmm. In our story, we see the first thing the devil does is come to mankind is make them believe that God's a liar. He makes them believe that God's word is not true. How many times has he done that to you, our kids? I know he's tried it on all of us. Well, I'm telling you what, I'm here to say right now and right here, the devil is a liar and God's word is true. And what God said, he meant, and it's the truth, the absolute truth. Now let's continue. The devil asked, did God tell you that? Then he made them think, no, that's not true what God said. If something was black and God said it was white, that thing would turn white. Or it would be white at the beginning and the devil would say it was black and it was never black. It was always white to begin with because God made it white. Don't you see? The devil's a liar. But God's word is true and God is truth. All right, our kids, I have a challenge for you. Parents, I need you to listen up. Kids, I need you to listen up. Now, this is what we're gonna do. I need evidence in this courtroom. I need you to draw me a picture or come tell me a story of how the truth has affected you. Tell me a time when you told the truth and maybe it cost you a friendship or maybe your friend got a little mad or maybe you got in trouble with mommy and daddy because you told the truth, or perhaps you got rewarded for telling the truth. Because really, every mother and father wants their child to always tell the truth. 